going on. Please listen. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday morning and <clears throat> I hope that you all slept well. I, I was just sharing with someone that I had a vivid dream when I was waking up, which was so encouraging. I was dreaming that I was in a neighborhood telling um, in a group of people, um, telling them how to take their neighborhood for the Lord, um, giving them steps to um, bringing Jesus into their neighborhood and meeting the needs of the people there. And it was amazing. It was really like a prayerful time and people were really responsive and I thought, wow, what was that? But I have to tell you, I went to sleep um, and woke at three and around, I don't know, 3.30 or so, I decided to listen to Joseph Prince. And um, he's such a grace pre preacher. I cannot hear enough about grace. I hear the word um, from him and I feel like I'm taking a really wonderful bath, um, like just in the word. Um, he is so knowledgeable and I appreciate him so much. <laughs> so he really must have influenced my dream. The word must have really influenced my thoughts as I slept. Um, anyway, that was encouraging. We're in Psalm 72 today and the title of it in the Passion Translation is The Righteous King. And this is um, written by David, probably for his son Solomon. And um, it's a prayer for the king. Um, but we can read it as the author suggests to, um, to King Jesus. That's what we want to look at it as. Let's read through it and then we'll pray through it. And um, I know one person that usually comes on here is at a conference today and can't be with us, Caitlin. So um, we'll just glad that you can be here, Gail. I'm so thankful, I'm so glad that you are <laughs> Yay, out of the hospital and so grateful to God. Um, okay, so are you ready? All right, let's read it. Make the king, O oh God, a godly judge like you, and give the king's son the gift of justice to help him to give true justice to your people, honorably and equally to all then the mountains of influence will be fruitful and from your righteousness, prosperity and peace will flow to all the people. May the poor and humble have an advocate with the king. and May he consider the children of the poor and crush the cruel oppressor. The sun and the moon will stop shining before your lovers will stop worshiping. Ages upon ages, the people will love and adore you. Your favor will fall like rain upon, their upon our surrendered lives, like showers reviving the earth. In the days of his reign, the righteous will spring forth with the abundance of peace and prosperity forevermore. May he subdue and take dominion from sea to sea, and may he rule from the river to the rim. Desert nomads are bowing at his feet and every enemy falling face down, biting the dust. Distant kings will surrender and come with their gifts from every continent and coastland. They will offer their tribute to you. O king of kings, they will all bow before you. O king of kings, every nation will one day serve you. He will care for the needy and neglected when they cry to him for help. The humble and helpless will know his kindness or with a father's compassion, he will save their souls. They will be rescued from tyranny and torture, for their lifeblood is precious in his eyes. Long live this king. May the wealth of the world be laid before him, and may there be ceaseless praise and prayer to him. May all the blessing be brought to him. 
Bless us with a bountiful harvest, with golden grain swaying on the mountain fields. May the cities be full of praising people, fruitful and filled, so that his name may be honored forever. May the fame of his name spring forth. May it shine on like the sunshine. In him, all will be blessed to bless others. And may all the people bless the one who blessed them. Praise forever, Jehovah God, the God of Israel. He is the one and only God of wonders, surpassing every expectation. The blazing glory of his name will be praised forever. May all the earth overflow with his glory. Faithful is our king. Faithful is our king. Amen. This concludes the poetry sung by David, Jesse's son. That's so funny that the last verse, verse 20, would be a personal conclusion of David saying, well, this concludes my poetry sung uh, by myself, Jesse's son. He identifies himself as Jesse's son. So it's, I think it's the only place I've ever seen that in the Psalms. Maybe he does it somewhere else as well. But it makes it official. He's signing off on it. Um, so anyway, um, this is such a beautiful psalm um, about um, how a king should be and how the people under him should live. So we're going to pray this and um, just follow the Holy Spirit's leading um, as we pray. We're learning how to pray the word. That's what we're doing in this study with the Psalms. We're not really going into a lot of detail about <clears throat> what the Psalm means. Um, just We're just turning it into a prayer and personalizing it. And hopefully you are able to do that more and more as you're following along with us. It seems like it's just like we're working a muscle and I'm hoping that you all are trying it for yourself as well. So um, when we get done with the Psalms, which will be, you know, quite a while from now, um, we're looking forward to going into the books of Joshua, Judges, and Ruth as our next devotional time, probably in the summer or late spring. All right, Solomon's Psalm, let's pray this. Lord, we just pause <clears throat> in your presence because you are the king of kings. And I myself feel like I have so much that needs adjusting in my view of who you really are and what you want to be for us. <clears throat> and how you want to reveal how you really are and the grace with which you have provided for us to live in. So as we pray now, Father, we ask that you'd lead us by your Holy Spirit. We go the direction that you want to go, Lord. We give you the floor. We give you the room. We make place for you. We make a way for you. Lord, all, all we ask is that our king, our ruler, wherever we live, have the attributes like you, that they are a godly judge. <clears throat> and we ask that they would be given a gift from you that is justice. And we ask, Lord, that justice would be given as um, a way to rule or to serve your people. We ask that you would give them honor and that you would have them lead with honor, that they would have 
the sense of a fear of the Lord that is healthy and strong within them, keeping them, leading the people with you in sight. And we ask, Lord, that the mountains of influence, mountains of influence, such as education, such as the political mountain, such as um, the church, every mountain of influence, such as business, Lord, the banking systems. We pray for fruit. We pray, Lord, that there would be bountiful fruit. We ask, Lord, that prosperity and peace would not be kept at the helm, but would flow down into the peoples of the earth. That every nation that honors you, you would honor the people, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that the poor and the humble would always have an advocate <clears throat> with the king, that he would see, he or she, the rulers and the magistrates would see the poor and have an eye for their needs. We ask, Lord, <clears throat> that they would consider the children of the poor and that poverty would be crushed as an evil and cruel oppressor. In every nation that honors you, may your children never be found begging bread. Lord, we declare that the sun and the moon will stop shining before we, your lovers, will stop worshiping you. And we love and adore you, Lord. We declare this morning that your favor will fall like rain upon our surrendered lives. We do surrender to you. And every place that we need reviving, shower, shower, shower the earth. Shower our hearts. Pray, Lord, that the righteous will spring up all over the earth like flowers in the springtime coming up, yielding their bloom to the sun. We ask, God, that the righteous will spring up throughout the earth, bearing fruit, and that the abundance of peace and prosperity would be the sunshine that brings them up out of the earth causing them to spring forth and carry life with them. Lord, may this be in us. May we be those. May, Lord, we ask that you would take dominion from sea to sea, subduing nations, ruling from the rivers to the rims, all of the deserts, that the people of the deserts would even be bowing their knee to you, Jesus. Jehovah, Yahweh, let them find you in their wandering. And may their enemies fall face down, biting the dust, Lord, if they are in any way trying to keep them from knowing the one true Messiah, Jesus. We ask, Lord, that distant kings would come just like they did to Bethlehem and bring their gifts, Lord. Every continent and every coastland, coastland would offer up tributes to you as the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Jesus is king, we declare. Jesus is king, worthy of our praise, worthy of our worship, worthy of our gifts offered to him. Thank you that you come for the needy and the neglected. And when they cry to you for help, Lord, they will know your kindness. We declare that your kindness will come over the people who are humbly 
seeking after you, crying to you, crying to you for help. And you have such a fatherly compassion that you want to pour out upon these people to save them, saving their souls. So we ask, Lord, that today a fatherly compassion would come over. Lord, we just look state by state into the United States. Every state, Lord, we ask that fatherly compassion would hit the states one by one on this Saturday, hour by hour, city by city. Pray that like a cloud that moves over the earth, the grace and the mercy of the Lord would come over our states. The welcoming grace of the Father and that all that need rescue would be rescued. You're saying here in your word, Lord, that their lifeblood is precious in your eyes. And we ask, Lord, that you would cause um, wealth to be laid before you, ceaseless praise and prayer to come before you, and that all would say, long live the King. We know that you are timeless. We know that you are outside of time and eternal. We come in our humanity and we herald you and say, long live the King, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We praise you. We thank you, Lord. And we bring you every blessing that we can think of. We bless you, Father. We bless your name. We bless you in our humility. We bless you in our humanity. We bless you as your created ones. We bless you as, our, as your sons and your daughters. And we ask, Lord, that we would have a bountiful harvest, that golden grain would be swaying on the mountain fields, that every place that needs water would have the rain that they need, Lord, that people would be filled with praise throughout the cities and that they would honor your name forever. May your fame spring forth with springtime. As we come up to the first day of spring, may you be famous. May your name be famous, Lord. May you be shining throughout the earth like the glorious sunshine of a new day. May you turn the clouds away and may the glory of the Lord come in. God, we praise you. We see you coming. It is springtime, Lord. We ask that you would cause a newness and a freshness to come into our land, into our hearts, reviving the weary, reviving the weary, Lord, how we need you. We want to be a blessing. We want to bless the people all around us as you bless them, Lord. We want to praise you, Jehovah, God of Israel. You are the one and only true God of wonders. You surpass every expectation that we might have. All our expectation is in you. You surpass everything we could dream of or know about. You are worthy, Lord. May the earth overflow with your glory. You are faithful, Lord God, our King. You are good. And may we be filled as David with poetry to be sung to you throughout the day. May you come over me and those on this devotion with songs of praise and worship. May poetry that is fit for a king find its way to our hearts and come through our lips. And may you be honored today, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We bask in your presence. We bask in the newness of life in you. Amen.
Amen. All right, so thank you for joining me again. Thank you for coming, and I pray this is a blessing to you and that you will find your way here throughout some, some portion of the day today and that God's word would come alive in my heart and in your heart and that you would disperse forth like springtime. Bye-bye. Have a good day. <laughs>